What is up, everybody? It is March 2nd, 2022, up here in Big Bear Lake, California. This is the calm before the storm. So I'm hoping we do get something nice. Um, we could get up to nine inches total from everything um, if it pans out, but it never does. However, I'll try to keep a positive attitude. Um, and so, yeah, we could get up. Uh, so it'll start probably around midnight on Thursday night going into Friday and then last on and off through, I think, Saturday, or, uh, Saturday morning. So if it all pans out, as I said, we could get maybe nine inches total, which would be amazing. I'd be happy with that. Um, but yeah, pretty much all this new snow is already melted that we just got a couple days ago. So it's unfortunate, but yeah, hoping everything pans out. It's supposed to be really cold again, so it's a nice, really cold system coming through. I hope it, gets held up over the mountains somehow and just dumps and dumps and dumps and dumps. But anyway, we're driving up towards Snow Summit, towards the exit. This is a little bit too early to be driving into the parking lot when you're not actually going to... Oh, actually, let's see. I'm going to ask this guy if I can drive through. Instead of being... Rude, I'll turn off the camera. Oh wait, it says do not enter, exit only. All right. It looks like a statue. So here's Snow Summit over here. When we go up to the front, I'll ask them if, if, if I can just drive through the parking lot real quick. I hope they let us do that. But yeah, guys, look, there's hardly any snow left from what we just got. And as I told you guys, in front of my house, it was only like three and a half or four inches. It really wasn't that much. <clears throat> Parts of town did, did get a good amount of snow, like way up in the higher elevations. They they, they got some, some pretty decent amounts. So anyway, we're coming up to uh, Summit Boulevard right now. I wonder if, uh, here, I'm gonna shut it off just for a All right. So hey, we're just driving through here. There's nobody checking tickets probably because no one's going to be coming in to go skiing 20 minutes before it closes but yeah i just wanted you guys to see what it looks like here at the summit the summit of snow the summit of snow unfortunately not the best views right now but through this little nook we'll get a view Hang here for a second. There's no one behind us. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's a good one. It's a winter storm watch, guys. So that's, I mean, that's always good news. When we get the winter storm watch. Much better than winter advisory or snow advisory. Winter weather advisory. Yeah, pretty cool. We have to come through the parking lot without being obstructed in any way. So we hopped back on Switzerland. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Switzerland all the way till we get to Moon Ridge, and then we'll go check out Bear Mountain, see how we're doing up on Bear. Man, these guys pick up so much trash. It's, it's man, they do a great job. They really do. They keep this place looking beautiful. I just wish. It, it wasn't so easy just to drop trash up here. Alright, there's Snow Summit. Bye, Snow Summit. Bye bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Alright, we'll 
So we're gonna take this all the way till we get to Elm Street. Every city's got an Elm Street. Ha 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 ha. That was the worst Freddy rendition ever done in the history of Freddy renditions. Okay, so some of you have made comments about this road because you guys know it personally. Yes, this road can be horrible. It gets the worst potholes in all the city. In all the city of Paris, it's where they get the worst of the potholes from what I've experienced. Yeah. There's a few daisies right here. Jeez Louise. Yeah, and they just fixed these last year. Oh, that sounded like it broke my sway bars again. Wonderful. Just freaking wonderful. I remember this street is the one that has all those big, beautiful houses on it. Especially this time of year though, because we're getting to higher sun angles in the sky. And then keep in mind, we got uh, daylight savings time, is it? Yeah, I've... yeah, daylight savings time, because we're saving more daylight, we're keeping more daylight. Ah, yeah, yeah. I... I am as dumb as I look. I probably should read a book. Beautiful day. It's 60 degrees right now. 3:30 in the afternoon. Izzy. I hope everyone's doing beautifully well. All right, so we're coming up to Club View, and Club View is one of the roads that takes you into Bear Mountain. It just basically drops us off right here, right at the golf course. I really love this golf course. It's just so beautiful. With this backdrop right here, can you guys, like, imagine playing golf right there. Isn't that just beautiful? What a backdrop. For most of your shots, it's just spectacular. Alrighty then. Everything should begin tomorrow at about midnight. And 
by Friday morning when everyone wakes up, we should have maybe two to four inches of snow on the ground at that point. And throughout the day, maybe another two to four inches. And then Saturday morning, potential for one to three inches. Temperatures on Saturday are not gonna get out of the 20s for our high temperature. Oh, look at Bear Mountain. Look at that beautiful place. Holy pajoli. Oh, we're just gonna pull over here for a second. So we're out of the street and just uh, take a nice little zoom in and watch some of these guys and gals charging. On the right side of the screen, they're, they're going through the half pipe. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You gotta charge it, bro. Giant it, man. That really is beautiful, you guys. That really is. I think it closes in 30 minutes. There's some more runs over here to the right. Just epic, you guys, so beautiful. We haven't really done much of a view like this in a while. Come on, you guys, drop in on that half pipe. Oh well. All right, guys, let's head out. Let's head out ski. Out skis. Out skis. Out skis. So beautiful. I love living here. I can't believe I live here. This is crazy. All for a minute. I really do hope we get some good snowfall, you guys, because it's a, it's a lot more fun for me to be out here driving when there's a lot of snow and we can kind of drift and just have a good time. And trust me, I would not do that if I didn't feel totally safe. It becomes second nature if you practice it often enough. all of you could come up here build snowmen and have fun in the snow and just just have that feeling of just I don't know it's it's just love and serenity at least that's the way that I feel around the snowfall I don't know why I feel like that but it's like it's beyond like that yeah. Yeah. oh yeah oh yeah get another pass by one side of the golf course just so you guys can see once again in the background what the views are like it's just it's pretty amazing
road? Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. It's a pretty dang wide road for up here, I'll tell you that much. It seems like it's wider than Big Bear Boulevard. Okay. Well, you guys, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next day or so. So, uh, yeah, stay safe out there and be ready for the snow. This is what we do.